I use design paper, but it also looks really nice with just normal origami paper or even just printer paper. So it even has a handle and you might be thinking, how did I get it there? Well, guess what? It has no tape. As you can see, it's inserted over here and here. So let's get started. So for this model, if it's your first time, you need two pieces of paper. So one for the handle and the other for to make the base, like the box part. So, so for one of the pieces of paper for the handle, you, as you can see, I split them into quarters. And if I had one more here, it would make, and I joined it together, it'd make a square. Okay, so to make these quarters, you just need to fold this paper in half then fold it these edges onto the midline. Okay, and then you rip them until you have these as the handles. But for now, let's make the base. So take your paper and keep the white side up and you want to make the diamond structure. So fold this point, align this point with this point. and make a crease, then unfold and align this point and this point. And then make a crease and then unfold. So now we have the diagonals folded and now we want to fold the paper in half vertically Then unfold, and now you want to fold the paper in half horizontally. Okay, so unfold. Then you just want to fold on one of the diagonals and tuck these corners in like this. So just take your pointer finger and just slowly tuck them in like this, and then take this extra flap and just put it to the side and flatten that part out. And do the same thing, just open this part and tuck this in like this. Okay, and then flatten it out. So now we have the diamond structure. So now we want to make these points over here. You see these four points? One, two, three, four, five, maybe yeah, four. We want to take this so that these points are at the top. And we want to take this point and fold it down to the bottom, like this. So do the same thing on the other side. So flip it over and fold the point down to the bottom. Okay, so now we have something like this. So now I want to just, this is when the handle comes in. So take one of your quarters and take the white side up and fold it in half vertically, the long side. Okay, and unfold and then take these edges and fold it onto the middle line here, the middle line. So it gets even skinnier. So you could fold it again from that point. You could fold it like this. Or you could just leave it like that. As you can see in this one, I folded it again to make it a little bit skinnier. But this time I'll make it like this. Okay, so then, then fold on the middle line again. And flatten it out and you made the handle. So we just need to first fold this tip up to this point here and do the same thing on this side. Just fold the tip up to that point there. Okay. And then unfold them. And you want to take this and put it just near the tip where the crease you just folded. 
So you want to put it in here, and then you might want to just fold the handle in half first, then do that. So you could just do that and place it near the tip and do the same thing on the other side. Put it on like this and then fold up. And on this other side, just fold up again. Okay, so you flatten that part out. And then you have it. Kind of good. But yeah. So, this is kind of hard part. You might need to do it a couple of times. Okay, so now you want to fold it just a, about a third of the point from here. So just fold it like this a little bit up. And then you want to fold another third. And this part is kind of hard because you are actually folding this paper and this part. So it might be get a little thick there. So you just need to do it pretty good. So do the same thing on the other side. So first just fold a third up, then fold another third up along with the handle. So now we have this. Okay, so now we want to fold these, as you can see in this, we want to fold it to the center. So let's take this and fold it into that center. And do the same thing for the every four sides. And you know what? You can make this without the handle if you think, if you want to do that. So you could go ahead and do that if you want to. Okay, so now we have this. So now we want to fold this tip up until it meets just a triangle up. Like fold this triangle up, this like, triangle part up. And now we want to open this paper kind of like this. And you want to just sink this part in. The triangle you folded. I'm going to sink it in. Oh. Oops, this keeps falling off. So it's okay if this falls out and you want to tape it. That's fine if you want to. So just, it's going to take a while. It's kind of hard. So, so make those corners. So once you've done that, you don't need to sink it in all the way. Just keep it flat like that and make these edges sharp, a sharp crease. Okay. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to fold a tr that triangle down, this part triangle part down so it's all white. And then you want to take this part down now, like this, and then take that triangle part to that edge there. This edge, like this. Okay, I'm going to tape it. I know it might be pretty bad that I'm doing this, but it's just not sinking in the correct way, so. Sorry for being not that skilled at this. Okay, so do the same thing on the other side. And then fold this part down, put it to the tip, and then take these, and the edges, the handle is blocking, so you just take these edges, 
and put 